I heard the um, lady that came third, I was like, wow, yeah, she did do good, she deserves that. And then uh, the commentator said me, <laughs> and I stood up, I spread my arms, and I was like, woohoo! I turned around, I pointed at the judges, and I was like, yeah, nice. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I heard Lockie's name cheering still, it was, yeah, it was surreal, I was pretty, pretty happy with it, yeah. After they announced Jacko as second, I thought, nah, that's it. I thought, Ali's got it, she's Queensland competitor. But yeah, when they read it out, I couldn't believe it. I had my whole family watching, even my hairdresser, she was on the phone and she's like, oh my God, you won, you won. So I think we had a huge support from Albany community. It's absolutely fantastic for the region. Um, I'm really happy that Antoinette done as well as she did. Um, she was sort of doubting herself at the end there. She was going, oh, don't be surprised if I don't win anything. And then, yeah, she came home second. So, you know, that's fantastic, and especially being just a couple of years into her apprenticeship as well to actually come home with second place, you know? So, no, I'm absolutely chuffed with them both. I met Charlene and she was a really big inspiration to me. Um, especially after she told me about international world skills and you know you can go and do all this and so I thought right the best bet is to do Apprentice of the Year. Not thinking that I'd win it first time and then to win it the second time in a row I thought wow that's you know pretty impressive. Oh, well Bob was very open from the start he was like oh I don't like having an apprentice that doesn't know everything when they should. The next year he was very uh, good with his communication, saying I was doing this well, doing this wrong, need to work on this. I would definitely recommend painting to anybody who's looking at doing a trade. You make quite a good salary, it's pretty easy. It's a huge industry that you can fit into. I love painting people's houses and doing it all and making it you know, their home. He's been a real asset to the team. He's really um, one of the best tradesmen I've ever worked with. He demands perfection uh, from the boys and myself. So it's been really good to have such a good quality tradesman on, on our team. I just liked the aspect of all the trades working together for a common goal in the end. There's just so many different aspects to the job and I was just absolutely wrapped with every single one of them. MPA Skills really was a great place to um, train at. It was always, you walked in and you felt included. There was nobody that was against you. It's a really supportive network. Lecturers at MPA Skills were just so supportive. They were just, they were just your mate, they were generally interested in your life and uh, what you got up to, what kind of paint you were using, absolutely everything. I love to give lecturing a, a go, especially um, if something starts down here. I put my application in to go to France. I'm uh, very excited to hear back. I mean, hopefully I get to go. That'd be the, that'd be the best possible outcome. It's kind of hard realising that I couldn't do internationals. They then said, you're you know, over 22 by the time it comes around. Pressure's on Jacko now. I hope she absolutely smashes it. You know, we will be rooting for Team WA and we're going to bring back the gold.